Welcome to Death to the Data, a data visualization project by Alex Hugon, Jason Shaw, and Sergius Watt. As you can see, we compare death rates to three unique indicators, urban proportion of population, GDP, and internet usage. We provide users with a clear set of instructions in the bottom right panel where they're able to see just how to use the visualization. Furthermore, we provide our users with a legend which explains that the death rate is also indicated in visual encoding through color. So the darker the bubble is, the higher the death rate whereas the light bubble, the lower the death rate. Similarly, the size of the bubbles indicates how that country ranks for a given indicator, be it urban proportion, GDP, or internet usage. So for example, we can see here that a country with a very dark red bubble will have a higher death rate, whereas at the same time, it's a very small bubble, so they actually have a low urban proportion population. So for example, Sierra Leone, which we're hovering over currently, has a relatively low urban proportion of its population, whereas it has a relatively high death rate as compared to a country out here where it's actually a very light red. So Iceland has a very high urban proportion of population, a very low death rate. And so it's relatively larger than many of the other bubbles because of its high urban proportion, but it has a much lighter color because it's a very low death rate compared to other countries. You can see how the countries are scattered throughout the map. We found this useful so that people would be easily able to find which countries they wanted to research. Not only can one just simply allow the years to go by and to watch the visualization, but they can also jump to it in a year. So for example, if I wanted to jump ahead to 1990, or if I want to move ahead to, say, 2005, I can just do it by clicking it. Furthermore, I can just jump to the GDP version of this data and view a 10-year context for a country at the same time, so I can really understand the trends that are going on. And lastly, I can also view this for internet usage. Clearly, 1980, 1995, perhaps 2000, maybe 2002, 2003, there was more penetration. And so if we jump ahead to 2005, we see the data. Thank you.